Good morning. So I wanted to show you now how you're going to create a uh, citation from a book. Now I've got an actual physical book here. Now guys, this has nothing to do with my topic. I do know that, but I wanted to, if you physically had the book, I wanted to be able to show you where to go. Now, if you forgot to get this part of it from the book that you borrowed from the library, I'm going to show you how to do that too. So let's say that this is the book that I am needing to cite for my project. On the back of all books, there is another barcode. Now guys, for mine, I have my Trent barcode and then I also have this barcode. This barcode at the bottom is the one I'm focused on. It starts with a nine, it has an ISBN number and that starts with a 978. That is what I'm gonna focus on right now. That number is what I need. So if I go over here to create citation, I'm going to go to book and it's going to ask me for either the title or the ISBN. So what I'm going to do is ISBN is like a social security number. It is individual for each person. For this book, it has that. Now, what if I have like my topic is frogs? There's probably a hundred books with the name frogs. So if I try to put the title in here, frogs, it's going to come up with a hundred different options. But the ISBN is actually specific to that one frogs book. So that's what makes it better. So I'm going to type this in real quick. Nine, seven, eight, zero, three, nine, nine, one, six. Oh, three, one, eight. And then I'm going to hit search. And then I'm going to say, okay, is this it? Yes, it is. As you guys can see, the, the cover is the same as this one. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to ask me, hey, does this look right? Um, you can look and see if, if, if everything's correct. It's got the publisher down here. It's got the ISBN number. Um, and that's what I need. I'm going to hit save. And there it is. And actually, I'm going to tell you guys now that is actually wrong. And there's a reason why. So I'm going to go in here over here to the right and I'm going to show options and I'm going to edit. And there's a reason why is because it's not putting it in the correct order. It, um, the author's full name is given. It should be last name, comma, first name. So I'm actually going to go ahead and change this real quick. I'm going to move her name over here to the front or here. I'm going to put Ruta after. And then I'm going to get rid of this because that is how it should be. It should be last name, comma, first name. And then I'm going to update and it should fix it. There we go. So that is what it actually should look like. So see how I had to fix it? I had to kind of be aware of that. Always last name, comma, first name. Now, what I'm going to show you now is how we can get, if I'm doing frogs, how I can get the book that I used from the Trent Library how I can get that, uh, the ISBN for that. So if you guys go to, and I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to type it in, but it's going to pull it back up for you. Bit dot Lee slash Trent checkout. Now on the s'more that this is also on, you're going to see that I'll include the link on there if you need to get there. Okay. And it's, and that's what this is right here. Even though it changes the, the thing up here, remember bit.ly's are, in order to get a little bit easier of a uh, website. Now, this is our, our, um, all the books in our library. And so I'm going to type in frogs and let's see what pops up. It's going to tell me all the frog books. Okay. Um, this is actually the one I was thinking of whenever I did this. And so this is the book I used. I'm going to click on it. And it's going to pull stuff up for me. It's going to tell me about the book. It's going to tell me where the location is and it's going to tell me the ISBN. So I can highlight this. I can control C, copy it. And then I'm going to come back over here to my bib and I'm going to create a citation. It's a book. I'm going to control V paste the link or the ISBN and there it is right there. So I'm going to go back real quick and just make sure it's by Melissa Geish by Melissa Geish, and I'm going to come back over and I'm going to hit click on that one. But remember what it, but look at how this is broken up this time. Do you guys see how it's got it? It's got it where it's a split. So it's got first name and last name. And then if I go down here to my preview, you'll notice that it did it correctly on this one. It did the last name comma first name, and I'm going to hit save on that. And this is now added to our study skills citations. Okay, so that's how you get a book if you forgot to get it. Now, again, if you had that, if you've already done your citation in your um, or your research organizer, again, you might have to copy and paste it over, which is just like what we did with these from our databases.
Okay. So if you haven't already done that, make sure and take care of that right now.